Well, another quick uh, Arduino update. Um, first off, I'll show some of the goodies I got. I don't remember whether I showed this earlier, but this is one of the Arduino Basics kits I got off of eBay. Uh, pretty basic buzzer and breadboard and an Arduino and a few other things. But then in my new Canadian Tire box, this is all the goodies. These are all kind of various sources from eBay. I won't go through it all, but I've got a couple of Arduinos, um, a bunch of jumper connections. This stuff is dirt cheap, by the way. That, I didn't pay much for it. This entire kit was not much money. Um, another infrared remote, some more goodies. Uh, another Arduino Uno. Um, got some servos. Uh, I got two of these, and one of them you're going to see in a minute. Stepper motor, another servo, some header pins, various other stuff. Um, Ethernet board or shield. Um, I showed these in a previous video. These are the uh, relay boards. Heck of a deal. They're great. Uh, and that bottom one, I won't pull it out. That's an LCD shield, but I think I'm going to have a little bit of trouble. Like, a sub ten dollar or right around ten dollar LCD shield. I'm uh, gonna have some fun getting things programmed for that. But uh, big breadboard. This I already love. Uh, I haven't had a good breadboard that big in a while. So um, various odds and sods. Tilt sensors. Uh, actually, that's tilt sensor. Um, I think that's a touch sensor. Yeah, touch sensor. Oh, dual LCD display, all kinds of stuff. You name it, I got it in here. RFID tag system, most of which I'll probably never use, but the whole starter kit was dirt cheap and came with all kinds of goodies. Um, potentiometers, and better stuff, all kinds of nifty stuff. So, anyway, um, that's where that sits. This is my new nozzle uh, uh, cooling. Um, uh, cooling fan assembly for my Solidoodle 3D printer. I printed that out and I've been waiting for uh, I just forgot to order one of these fans so it was perfect fit just need to uh, get some magnets stuck in there, some rare earth magnets and get that mounted on the printer with the MOSFET, essentially a MOSFET driver and get it hooked up to the uh, to the driver board for that and then I can do some better 3D prints. Um, unrelated Again, because this is the random channel, I pulled these out of the uh, out of the back of my closet. For anybody who hasn't seen these things, they're pretty old now. Most of it was done before easy microcontrollers existed, but they are great for uh, ah, for certain things, and they go really good with the Arduino stuff. Uh, reach around here. Perfect. This is my Arduino rover. So what I did. I 3D printed, I already had the bracket for uh, for his eyes, for the ultrasonic distance measuring, and then I just took one of the cheap Arduino servos and a uh, quick went to Thingiverse and printed a micro server mount and stuck it there because the mount in here is for a standard servo. And well, that was just easier because I can print it for a couple of cents. Uh, there's the Wi-Fi camera. So what I had to do was basically start from the ground up on the code of this thing. I had it working with just the uh, the sensor being stable in one position, but when I went to try and vary the sensor, it didn't work out very well. So I went online and uh, uh, basically plagiarized some code. Uh, there's a PDF. Uh, I won't bother either. There's a PDF that comes with the Sane Smart stuff. Uh, the code did not work out of the box for that. It, it, it kind of did some things, but didn't work very well. So uh, what I did is uh, reprogrammed everything. And what I learned is to I put serial print commands after basically everything in my code. So it goes serial print line and tells me what the Arduino is doing. And then in uh, most people have seen this, and it's nothing new. But uh, in the Arduino interface, you click on that little magnifying glass and it'll pull up a, um, uh, a serial data uh, window telling me what's being communicated. So actually, we'll go ahead and just plug that in. Why not? Uh, 
take the Arduino, we're not going to be fed from the onboard battery, we're going to be fed from the USB. And the servo is going to do its thing. And what he does, he looks left, right, and then straight again as he initializes. And then uh, as long as the straight is good, it continues on. So I'm going to start the serial prompt. And we'll see if we can get it working here. It should reinitialize the Arduino. And that's a serial line that I've programmed to tell me it's initiated. What it does is it's telling me the current forward distance in front of the rover and the fact that there's no danger. So I'll take my hand and put it in front. It says total halt. Looks left, looks right. And I took my hand away, so it kept on going. If I leave my hand there and say go on the left hand side, it should say turning right. And it's going to keep turning right because I kind of have my hand over the front and the left side. And it's going to keep going right. So anyway, you get the idea. It, uh, it tells me, uh, it helped me debug the code a heck of a lot. Uh, by knowing what the Arduino is up to and what's going on at what time. And away it goes again. So, working pretty good. I'll take it out and throw it on the floor and we can have a look, but that's about it. Uh, silly little Arduino project. Lots of room on the uh, mega board, so I think I'm going to uh, add some LEDs and maybe add some noise and whatever. Why not? I've got lots of Arduino boards now and this is kind of neat. Uh, makes you think about things in a new way and in all honesty, I haven't done proper coding in a lot of years. I had to uh, get my brain back into it. I, I haven't done any actual code since high school, so it's a lot of fun. I'm learning a lot. Right now I'm doing a lot of um, uh, pauses, essentially. Um, uh, delay commands, which is not a good way to code. Um, I'll put a couple, uh, I'll have to send this out to one of the guys on YouTube who uh, who has done a lot of these videos and see what they say uh, about the code and see how I can optimize it, because by no means is it optimized. I've had to do some pretty funny things, but yeah, it's working. Anyway, we'll see what it does. Working not too bad. I still have to figure out why it favors one direction over the other. I think uh, it's not working the best at getting both measurements true from left to right because see how it favored the left there, but clearly the uh, actually in that case it was a good choice. But um, in some cases it it favors the wide side. Minor technicality and uh, work on the backup and delay so it doesn't get stuck in corners so much and maybe put a random function in if it's gone uh, more than uh, a couple of tries to go back the other way and it runs into things too <laughs> anyway that's about it